Uh, it's wet and wild, so I don't know how much it was supposed to blow your mind, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I don't know why I have these a few things where I keep them anyways, even though I probably shouldn't. But uh, I guess I'm a hoarder in that sense. Um, so another one here that I didn't really like was the Lacenza lip gloss. Oops. And I know a lot of my friends love it so much, but um, I didn't really like it that much. Uh, the smell is also... I don't know, it's like burnt sugar or something. I, I think I can get over the smell. Which is a big thing for me. But I do have a few of them and they're not all like this. So I know the mint one, there's like a clear one. It's really nice mint tingle. It's a nice one. And um, some ones I did for sure like. I didn't hate all those. I just like those couple that I grabbed where the smells were just off for me. Um, so this one here is very Bellini Body Shop. I love it so much. The smell is amazing. It's berry and mint. And then when you put it on your mint, it has it says it has a mint infused for fresh breath. Peppermint oil 0.25%. Um, I really like it. I love this stuff. I bought a couple now because I just really like the... I love that air. I'm such a sucker for the mer like mint feeling in your lips. So that's like the only way to explain that, that feeling. I, like, <laughs> I think you guys kind of get what I mean. Another one I really liked here was um, the Bonnie Bell. It's Fairy Nilla Cream. And I don't know, this lip gloss, it's kind of like a nudie. It's on the brown side for sure. It has a sponge applicator. It has a really sweet smell, like just kind of a dessert. I really like it. Every time I wear it, people ask me what I'm wearing. And I usually put this with like a lip gloss over top or just leave it as it is. I really like it. And, um,. Oh, and this last one here, it's a kind of, it's a palette, a lip palette by Revlon. And it's 260, so it's me liking my pinks and my nudes. It has it all in one palette. The nice thing about a palette is that you just throw in your purse, and you can have a pink, and you can have a nude, and then there's a little bit of a shine, a shinier nude over here, and just like a little less shiny up here that you can mix and match so you can kind of customize it which is awesome since I like pink and uh, a nude it's perfect for me because I really can just grab it and go and I only grabbed three uh, lipsticks with me right now one is covergirl and it's true shine the nice thing about this lipstick is it has a shine to it I was actually wearing it right now but I put some of that um, bliss text over it so it's looking a little bit more shiny than it would, but it's just a nude. It has it's like a brown nude. It's a little bit lighter than it's coming up, but that's pretty close to the color. It's a warmer nude. It has a little bit of orange in it, and um, it's in the shade 470. Um, I really like it because it has the moisture in it, so your lips aren't dried out as soon as you put it on. Um, I really like this shade. It doesn't dry out your lips as soon as you put it on, unlike these ones, which are actually my favorite colors, but they are so drying you need to put a lip gloss on with them because it is like like you just ate a bag of salt like your lips are just so dry after you use these but it's the Rimmel London lipsticks and in the lasting finish uh, lipstick I really really love the colors though so I kind of tough it out um, my favorite one is actually vintage it's in 026 it's like a nude Pink. It's a pretty pink on your lips. Um, yeah, it's a really nice one. And then the other one I have is in um, Pink Blush. It's 006. This one's a more hot pink. Like, it's really fun on your lips. I don't know. I really like it. It's very Barbie girl. Um, something a little bit more fun and flirty. And then the only other last thing I have that I use often is this um, palette that I have. I took a makeup course and this came with it. It's pretty dirty right now, but um, this color right here is huge right now, and I um, I'm a little bit scared to try it, but I would love to get more uh, use out of it since it's such a nice color. I think the nice thing about this palette, look how dirty this pink is with red. That's so bad, but um, I don't really use it that often, so it's okay. But um, 
The nice thing about this palette is you can mix your colors. So if you are scared to go right into this color, maybe take this one and mix it with a little bit of a nude. So it's not as dramatic at first. And you might be a little bit more comfortable. I really like um this pink up here. It's uh, once again baby pink. Kind of like that pink blush um, by Rimmel. And then I mix it with a little bit of a nude so it's not so Barbie. But I don't know. It works for me. Uh, it's great to have a palette because you can really experiment with colors instead of being so manufactured with whatever you can find and buy. This one gives you a little bit more creativity. Uh, I don't buy lip products often, but these are the ones I've had for a while that I've loved or I hated. So it's the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you have any um, ones you'd like to suggest for me to try, please leave a comment at the bottom and I'd love to give it a try. Um, I'm always looking for new brands. So thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, maybe subscribe, thanks so much, bye.